the Southern Poverty Law Center is not a law enforcement organization. So if SPL staffers run across, you know, a real life criminal plot, you know, they don't play games, right? They go just straight to the FBI or the local police force, whoever it is. Part of this work is that people uh, want to kill you, or at least they say they do. So we've had a lot of threats over the years. You know, I've had to surround the house with uh, cameras. It's, you know, a television system, a closed circuit TV system that completely encircles our house. Certainly over the years, we've uh, gotten mail from the Klan here. Uh, at one point, uh, we had a threat from the Aryan Brotherhood, uh, and my bosses insisted that we move out of the house for a week. You know, at one point, I was notified last year by a letter from a, a federal court uh, in New York State that a certain guy had bought a machine gun, uh, and part of the plan was uh, to kill me, among others. Do you know who Mark Potok is? Yeah. What are your uh, thoughts on him? He's obviously a terrible human being. Um, and, you know, he, he, he clearly, the, he wants to shut down free speech. And if given the power and if given the opportunity, I am positive that he would want to arrest people like me for sowing distrust in the communities or some, you know, Orwellian phrase like that. <laughs>